Okay, we're going to get kicked off in just like one minute. Thanks for being on, you guys. How is everybody today? Um, just take a second, maybe grab a good cup of tea. Um, we get to be together here for just like 20 minutes. Um, we're going to go over some great stuff. I'd love to get your feedback, your input. We're going to let everybody get logged on here. Uh, good morning, good morning. So um, yeah, I'm going to spotlight here. Welcome, my friend, I'll be live on Fridays um, as we are all logging in. If you want to take a second and maybe grab a notebook, there might be some things you want to jot down. I've got some of a couple supplements that I'm going to share with you guys, and we're going to get kicked off in just like 30 seconds. So um, if you want to share your video, you're welcome to. Good morning. Great to see everybody. Hi. How are you, Patty? Good, good. Great to see you, Cindy. Karen. Okay, so let's go ahead and get kicked off. We've got 20 minutes together and we are going to go ahead and dive in. So hello, hello. I'm Coach Nikki Warren and I am here in Lake Tahoe. And today I'm going to be talking about many health habits that you can include in your everyday. So what I know for sure, what science has shown and what I've seen across thousands of clients that I've worked with is that if you start small and just with small consistency comes big change. And when we try to do things too big, we start like a brick or we start like new year's resolution. And we do like all of these things where we're like, okay, I'm going to change everything in my diet. I'm going to stop drinking. I'm going to stop eat, eating sugar. I'm going to stop eating gluten. I'm going to exercise every day. What happens is we end up stretching ourselves too thin and then we bounce back to whatever those normal habits were before that were kind of that comfort zone. So today we're going to talk about just many health habits that you can include in your everyday. The three topics we're going to go over are why diets don't work. I think we all can probably agree. Maybe give me a thumbs up in the chat if you have tried a diet and it doesn't work, but we're going to talk about why the science behind it and how to make it work. Little teeny habits. Yes, Cindy, I get you, girl. Um, also the second is one exercise that you can do that can change your body. So whether you get, um, the opportunity to work out for a full hour to, um, you know, maybe if, if you're just super busy for the day, we're going to go over one exercise. that's super effective, uh, that we can just do every day. And then, um, the last, what I'm really excited to talk about is why friends, can help you actually live longer and the, the importance and some little mini habits that you can do to strengthen your relationships and to strengthen what we have here. Okay, let's dive in because we've got lots to go over. These are about 20 minutes, uh, maybe 15. So uh, thank you guys for being on. And the first thing that we're gonna talk about is why diets don't work. So a couple of you gave me some thumbs up, Karen, Cindy, why we have gone through, and I think all, not even just women, but women in particular, have either phases in our life or we do these kind of like yo-yo dieting um, because we start feeling desperate. We're like, okay, this is not working and I want something that's going to be quick and effective. But what studies and science shows is that 95% of dieters regain their weight within one to five years. And that it's when we're, when we're dieting. And so let's talk real quick about the difference between because the word diet can be confusing because a diet we can talk about like oh my girlfriend is on a plant-based diet so this is you know what she eats if she's going to go to dinner with you or it can be i'm on a diet which is very restrictive um, and so the diet that i'm talking about is i'm going to do this diet for a short amount of time i'm going to eat small amount of calories i'm going to either or restrict certain foods like these foods are like i'm not having any of these and then um maybe going back to like your normal so what happens when we're dieting is we're, we can really mess up our metabolism um, for years and years of dieting, what happens is, and I'm very fortunate to get to see kind of the inside of a lot of, 
of your stats on your body. So I can see when we run reports, I can see your basal metabolic rate, which is your metabolism at rest, how many calories you're burning. I can see um, when we do these in-body scans, how much muscle, how much fat, where you keep your fat. So then when I'm watching, you go through these like, either if we take it as a diet or we just eat healthy, I can see the metabolism either go up or if we have a really low calorie, super restricted diet, what I see is your metabolism, those calories that we burn at rest, that goes down. So we have to eat less and less and less our whole entire lives to keep the same weight. So yes, almost every diet will work, whatever you do, almost every diet will work. But what happens is it's the long-term effects that we get worried about. So when you think about like, okay, I'm gonna eat 800 calories a day or a very low amount of calories a day, your body will start like holding on to things. Your metabolism goes down because your metabolism, that energy inside your body is what is preparing you for what you're going to do for not just like your life, but for your day. So my muscles, my, all of my cells, my neurons, all of this is working together, which is your metabolism that tells you how much energy that you're going to spend. Where if we're eating a very low amount of calories, then your metabolism starts to slow down and hunker in and say, be careful because we don't know where this is going to go. So when we're talking about why diets don't work, and also when you're eating those low calories, you can really be deficient in certain nutrients and essential nutrients that give you energy, that give you sight, that help you think, that make your heart beat, um, that make your lungs work properly. So all of these these essential nutrients when we are going on these like really crash diets, they can be very harmful. So why I really believe in many health habits that you can do every day is just, and if you guys have a journal, just please write this down because I think this is something, and even if you're not a dieter, but you are, you know, obviously you're here. So you care about your health. You care about other people's health is we don't diet, we eat healthy. And just telling like all the future generations of people that we love is how can we just every day add many health habits that really will strengthen us so we feel uh, that we never have to diet again, that we can get to a weight that our body is meant to be at and move forward with just gently every single day saying, how can I serve you body? Like, what do you need? I thought it was so interesting because um, I was reading the blue zone. I don't know if you guys have read the book, but the blue zone and they study people that like people who have lived like over a hundred years, big groups of people that have like lots of longevity. And um, this is where I kind of, I got a lot of uh, the material that I have from today. But this little Japanese lady, she, they were interviewing her and before her meal, she sat and prayed and it was this like long, beautiful Japanese prayer. And essentially she was praying that she wouldn't eat too much. And I was like, oh my gosh, this lady is like 104 and she's still praying that she's not going to eat too much. And she's literally like a hundred pounds. I was like, oh, like, because you think you kind of think at some point in your life, you're like, okay, you know, I can just kind of do whatever I want, eat whatever I want. But in reality, we need to be bring consciousness to our meals. We need to bring consciousness to the amount of food that we actually need to support our energy, to support our body, to support our brain. So the one that was like super like aha moment for me. And I do that quite often now is like in the morning when I set my intentions is let me fuel my body in a way that where I feel energetic and where I feel strong and let me slowly push out the things that might not make me feel so good. And so I know when I'm eating things that are not on purpose, I don't feel good. So the couple tips for um, many health habits is my breath some things just to kind of share with you is simply just eat an apple every day. So I just eat an apple every day. Sometimes I really like to cut it and put cinnamon on it and put some lemon on it. Um, but 
my food rule is I eat an apple every day. It's got high fiber. It's got so many like nutrients. It's sweet. So it helps me with like my kind of that sweet craving after my like lunch or in the afternoon. But in general, my one little health habit is I eat an apple every day. So you might not like apples or maybe apples don't serve you. But what is one thing that you can write down that you can eat every day, non-negotiable, that has that's raw? So it can be, you might love bell peppers, maybe eat a bell pepper every day. You might like cucumbers. You might love, um, um, you know, a, so just one thing that you're going to on hand that you're going to eat every day. Um, the next thing is that I focus on eating my veggies first. And you guys are like, oh, here she goes again, always talking about the veggies. And so my, it, like our parents, our grandparents, Somebody at some point in your life told you to eat your veggies first. And you probably took that with whoever you were cooking meals for and said, don't forget to eat your veggies first. But do we really do that? So yes, we've heard it for many, many years and generations. But I talk a lot about front loading your meals with your veggies and non-negotiable eat your veggies first. So like for my family, the veggies come out first on the table. We don't always get to sit down for dinner because we're always busy, but when we do, our veggies come out first, we eat whatever it is. So if it's, and I keep it super simple, it might be, um, so it might be steamed cauliflower. It might be steamed broccoli with um, lemon pepper. Uh, I love like Brussels sprouts. My whole family doesn't love Brussels sprouts, but that's okay. It doesn't always have to be a party in your mouth. Like you eat your veggies and then go to eat whatever. So my mini health hack for myself, my mini health tip that I do every day is I eat some kind of veggies first. And if it's lunch or if it's dinner, that's all my focus is eat your veggies first. And then um, the next is drink your water. And again, this is like, yeah, I know you always say that, but I add different things to help me keep my water fun. So you guys, um, probably do this quite often, but lemon, warm lemon water in the morning is just something I do non-negotiable every day. My whole family does it and it just comes before tea. It comes before coffee and it's how we hydrate from the inside out. We're like little flowers. And when we wake up in the morning, we're dehydrated. We're like, like, and then we drink water. We're like, ah, we feel, uh, we feel like our beautiful petals are all hydrated and ready for the day. Um, another thing that I drink at night, and this I got this at Costco, but it's a sweet and spicy original, caffeine-free bomb. It's so yummy, and it's this tea. Uh, it's called the Good Earth. If you guys can't see it, I can put a link in it um, in the show notes. But it's just a delicious little after-meal tea. So sometimes I have it for lunch or um, definitely at night for dinner. So when I'm thinking about my hydration, I drink half my body weight in ounces of water. I pack my water um, even when I'm working at home. And then I just make sure that I, and a lot of things count, like actually your apple counts as hydration because it's full of water. Um, your herbal teas, your coffee doesn't because it dehydrates you from the caffeine, um, but green tea counts because it doesn't have high caffeine. Um, anything that is like good for you, you can do like, uh, you can put strawberries in your water, you can put cucumbers in your water and actually eating strawberries and cucumbers counts as your hydration too. Okay. So why diets don't work is because restriction is like, Oh, really quick. Hold your breath. Everybody hands over your mouth. Hold your breath. Up. Hold your breath. 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 And when you can't hold your breath anymore, what happens? <gasps> We take a huge breath and that's what happens when we diet. So we restrict, 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 restrict. And when our body says, I can't take it anymore, we rah, and we eat everything in sight. And that's why we kind of have these ups and downs. So why diets don't work is because they're restrictive. They're not good for our metabolism and they don't give us some of the essential vitamins and minerals that we need. And that was another thing I wanted to share with you guys. Um, Complement is the vitamin that I used. 
and um, maybe Deb, you can put the discount code in. I love this company. They do so much research. It's very, very clean. Um, they're great humans. They're a family company, um, but it gives you all your essential vitamins. So that's one thing for my many health habits is I take my vitamins every day. So whatever multi that is, these have vitamin B12, which is important, D3, DHA, EPA, iodine, K2, zinc, magnesium, and selenium. So those are some of the more difficult minerals and vitamins that you can't really get out of, or not, not that you can't get, they're just more difficult to get from your food. So that's a mini health habit too, is that I take my vitamins every day. Okay, so one exercise, uh, thanks Deb, one exercise, that will change your body is push up, knee up, knee up. So if you can um, stand up with me real quick, if you're not driving and just do your push up standing up. So you don't even have to be sitting down. Um, so pull, push your hands out right in front of you, roll your shoulders down and back. The best way to learn good form of any exercise is to take the difficulty out of it. So when we're working on good form as your coach is working with you is start where it's very, very easy. So you know how your body should feel. So whether you have time to do a full workout or whether you do 10 push up, knee up, knee ups in the morning and at night, just adding these push ups, and it can be a strict push up, or it can add a knee, knee in the middle of your push up. So roll your shoulders down and back. Are you standing up? Come on up. Okay, shoulders down. <laughs> Thanks, Karen. Thanks, Patty. Okay, shoulders down. Now, first thing, close your ribs, which just means pull your belly button in. So pull your stomach in nice and tight. Now, I want you to push through your fingers. A lot of, a lot of uh, women have wrist injuries, and it's because we have little bones and little tendons. So I want you to push into your fingers. Pull your elbows about 45 degrees from your arm, and then pull your elbows back to 90 degrees. Now push into your fingers, squeeze your booty, squeeze, 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 squeeze your belly, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Now push the pretend floor away with an exhale. Look up right between your hands and exhale. And then now pull back, squeeze your butt, squeeze your belly, roll your shoulders away from your ears. And then one more. Now this time when we extend our arms, roll your shoulders and pull your knees up with the strength of your belly. So pull your knee up, and up and then lower down, pretend again, and then push up, knee, knee. So we're not just going through our joints. We're not just flopping around in our core. We're tight, hips in, pull the knee up with the strength of your stomach, pull the knee up with the strength of your stomach, okay? Nice, awesome, thanks you guys. Thanks for joining me in that air push up. Looking good. So, whether you have an hour to work out or whether you're just gonna do these like push ups when you wake up, just do like 10 and you can do them even standing up. You're just asking your body to be mobile, to be limber, to kind of move your joints around. You can put your hands on a wall, you can put your hands on a box or a bench, but just kind of get used to doing like 10 push ups when you wake up in the morning, pull your knee up get your joints moving. If you have injuries, you can also flip over to your back, hold heavy dumbbells, lift your bottom off and then do chest press. So you can do those and then you can still do your knee up, knee ups in like that bridge position. So always let me know if you have any injuries or if something doesn't serve you and I can give you a modification for it. So the great thing about that is you don't need any equipment, right? You just need your beautiful body. Um, it's a full body. So it's working through and protecting your shoulders from injury. It's also protects your back, like 90% of Americans at some point um, have low back injuries. And so the push up really, it's like holding a plank, right? As long as we do it right, we don't let our back sag. It's actually strengthening our low back, it builds our heart, our cardiovascular system, because it's a full body exercise. Um, and it's just good stuff. So that is my mini health habit for myself. Um, when I wake up in the morning or like before I go to bed, 
I try to do it like an hour before I go to bed so I can kind of keep things on the mellow level before I go to sleep so I don't get my heart rate super crazy. Okay, and then uh, we are going to finish off with friends uh, help you live longer. So this amazing study from Harvard University studied over 300,000 people. And what they had found is that if there was a lack of strong relationships, that, that there was an increased risk of premature death by 50%. So just write this down for a second, because I, I know that we all know friendships are important and I know like our sisterhood and, and, but if we don't have strong relationships, that it's just as dangerous as smoking. Uh, it's just as dangerous as heavy drinking and it can lead to premature death. So I think for, It, it was it really like eye-opening um, that we need to, to nurture relationships. And sometimes we can feel like, oh, you know, I don't have good friendships or maybe that makes us sad, but it's our job to go out there and get friends and our job to go out there and like create these relationships. If you don't feel like you have um, a handful of people in your life that will have your back when you hit the deck, then right now start looking around and start cultivating relationships with people that you like people that you think that you like you would connect with people that are positive and people that hopefully like to move and so when when you're picking your friends choose wisely um of course we have family and friends that have all different everybody's different and which is so great but when you're choosing to cultivate relationships try to cultivate relationships around what makes you happier so when you're choosing these friends and the the friends that you really want to invest your time into is think about like when you're when you're creating like these um hangout dates uh, my son is 13 so i'm or 14 we're no longer allowed to say play dates they're hangouts so uh we're we're just scheduling hangouts so if i'm uh, looking to you to schedule a hangout, uh, what I would want to do is say, you know, hey, like, like Kaya, like that's what we do with Kaya, right? Hey, you know, we're all going to meet at Kaya at 5 a.m. We're going to all go for a hike on Saturday. We're going to, um, whatever it is, like schedule something around hopefully being together in some kind of activity, whether it's walking, um, and even if you go for a walk, um, sometimes I like to just be in nature, but sometimes I need to catch up with some friends because I've been busy and maybe MIA. So I'll go for a walk with them, but they're on the phone. So we're catching up and asking as much as possible, be a good listener. So as much as possible, ask like, how are you doing? Um, you know, what's going on in your life? How are your like kids how is your body just asking more questions uh i went on like a sister trip i think like last weekend and i bought these little cards i can share them with you um but you know you'd think like i've been with my sister since the day they were born because i'm the oldest uh but we went through these cards and it really had us ask questions that we had never asked before and really i didn't even know about myself so when i was asked this question it made me really think so maybe just getting like these like get to know you cards and at dinner asking better questions and asking more questions and you'll get to know yourself and you'll get to know your friends or your family a little bit better okay we're coming to the end so the the thing with friendships and uh longer lives is schedule time and i hear so much from myself too we're so busy we're so busy we're so busy um but really there's a lot of like wasted time in our day so when you're thinking about how to create more time for good relationships friends audit what you're doing so audit all the things that you're doing and maybe just do like a seven day audit we do this like in business um, with everybody who's invested in Kaya, like business owners, and we audit our seven days. And then we cut out things that don't give us like joy, that don't give us energy. So maybe it's checking your email too much, checking your social media too much. Um, maybe we can cut out some Netflix at night. Maybe we can cut out 
um, you know, extra time that we're spending in the kitchen. So when you're thinking about auditing, uh, cutting out things and then adding in good friends. And hopefully now with kind of restrictions lightening up a little bit, we can go back to like cooking meals together, uh, maybe inviting neighbors to sit out in the backyard as spring is coming. Um, okay, so just a quick re recap on my mini health habits. One is diets don't work. So just add a couple simple things. For me, I have, I eat uh, apple a day, my veggies first and my vitamins. I focus on my hydration. Uh, one exercise to focus on to get results in your body is a push up, knee up, knee up, whether it is on the, the, your stomach or on your back with weights, either one. And then friends equal a longer life. So look around, choose the friends that make you happy and invest time into them. Invest your, your time, work really hard to create great relationships. Try to schedule hangouts that are fun, uh, whether it's a Kaya date or whether it's a outdoor walk or run, or you know maybe as things progress, a meal together. Um, and then just do a quick audit on your schedule, cut out the things that don't bring you joy, add in more things that do bring you joy. Okay, thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, I coach every Friday at 9 a.m. I do like a little strength training class. Um, if you wanna join me on live stream, I would love to see you there. Uh, I wish you guys a beautiful end of brick. Oh yeah, I'm also coaching yoga tonight uh, for end of brick. So it's Sip and Savasana. Um, you can bring a mock uh, cocktail, a little kombucha, if you want to bring a glass of wine, whatever feels good to you. But I am coaching tonight at 5 p.m. yoga on live stream. So sign up on the app. Uh, always let me know if you have any problems with like signups or tech sometimes is. Oh, thanks, Patty. Thank you for starting your day with me. Mwah. Okay. Love you guys. Hopefully I'll see you at the workout. Have an awesome day. Bye.